Hey, this is Don, Don Kryptonium, and today we are going to talk about being the hub, what the blockchain has to do in order to become a hub, whether it's a Cosmos chain or Juno chain. And there is actually discussion on the Commonwealth that I will bring as the reference because this video is the discussion. This is why if you like this discussion, hit the like button because it supports and join the comments and go on Twitter to discuss because I do really want to say if my idea of this that I'm presenting will be faulty. So let's just uh, jump right to it. Uh, jump into this uh, discussion by Block Creators. It's, it's also co-founder of Juno. And uh, he presents the vision for the future of the of the Juno network. What's uh, Juno aim to to be? So the Juno was created as the sister chain for for the Cosmos. Um, m maybe trying to be fair version. Uh, that's what I at the start understood, and trying to be the hub for the Wasm contracts. As you know, the the Cosmos doesn't really have. Wasm contracts, it's being this more of the minimal chain, while Juno trying to be the home for the wide ecosystem of the of the contracts. And and you could see actually there is the application that are being built on Juno trying to achieve this. You know, so for example, Dao Dao, which has a lot of contributors, um trying to bring this let, let's say superior DAO tooling to the wider uh, Cosmos ecosystem, right? So you will, even if you on other chains, you will be able to use DAO DAO. So DAO DAO as the Juno network, but being available for everyone around. So this is, you can see the steps that this network is kind of taking. But I do want to may maybe be a little bit political and understand what, um, oh, I will link this. I will link this discussion. Um, but what I want to focus, what you have to do in order to be to be the hub, right? There's probably many chains um, that that will try to do this, and Juno is is most engaged community governance. Uh, the Cosmos is not that engaged. But what I want to understand is the governance, the, the really right approach for becoming the, the hub. You need to know that I come from the background of beliefs that is heavily driven by the capitalist economy of giving opportunity with the minimal interference of any sort of governance. And this is um let, let's th this is the point of the you know, the, there is the certain mentality of Juno and the, the governance is really heavy. Like I, I would say the governance on Juno is very heavy handed with strong uh, participation and also strong execution of the result of the governance. So you could see the mentality, you, like community chain mentality instead of corporate based venture capitalist chain. So if you have VC sh chain, um, maybe even like Polkadot, right? This is the decisions are made by this few that think, hey, we think that's the best for the future of the chain. That's the path we are going to 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 walk. Um, so this is the community that encourages you to create whatever you want and make it reality. And this is like really important part for me. Build a team, avail of all the support system, and start making a profit. Which, which is great. Like, I'm, as the uh, capitalist believer, maximizing the profit is, is really important. The community encourages you to create whatever you want and make it reality. And I've been thinking, when you look at the world systems, um, let's, th there was the sentence, America can dream. I know there is many people who do not like America, um, it has many its own problems, but this sentence kind of come to existence because many people from many other parts of the world were going there because that was the place 
where you knew that you can start, you can use your creativity, and that maybe the government will not try to push it down too much, and you will be encouraged to to develop your business. And with that, with this approach of attracting the major talent, the United States kind of become the superpower. And for Juno to become this metropolis superpower, I do believe that the heavy governance could destroy the chains. So I don't want to like be a- against that. But if you have heavy governance on every decision, how the government governance could prevent non-discrimination for every different creative individual regarding of their background, set of beliefs, and ideology. So let's say this is Don Kryptonium with like um, heavy capitalist ideology trying to come to the chain but and, and build something that could be maybe controversial, right? Um, I'm not saying illegal, but controversial uh, with what would get not approval of majority community, but it could be deeply profitable venture. Community, as the power it has, could crash on that Don Kryptonium dream trying to create something because the governance is, as of now, if I understand, is number one. So the question is to you, is the governance as the number one of the core community-driven chain the right solution or the minimal governance that has no power to interfere into individual entity trying to build something could be better approach. That's 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 all I wanted to say. If you like this, support Don Don Kryptonium. I'm validat on the Juno network. You can delegate to me. Of course, my delegation is zero because I'm not recording this from the main accounts. If you wonder, delegate to Cosmos Hub. I promise on both of this chain. I'm going to vote in the best interest of the chain. And also my favorite nomic. If you have some nom, delegate to Don Don Kryptonium. So that's it. You know, I need to misbehave sometimes because you need, you need me. If no one misbehave, you cannot point your, your sticky fingers to say, that's the poison. That's the guy responsible for all the bad that happened. I'm giving you this opportunity. You can point the fingers at Don Don Kryptonium. With that, Don Kryptonium's out. Till the next time.